ओके हेलो रिवन वंस अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अवर मोस्ट ऑथेंटिक प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी वीडियो फॉर बी आर सी ओ सी एस एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस इयर बेसिकली डेफिनेटली बी आर सी वी विल आई विल गाइड यू थ्रू आउट द प्रोसेस नो नीड टू वरी फॉर दैट लास्ट ईयर ऑल्सो लॉस ऑफ अवर स्टूडेंट क्रैक बी आर सी एग्जाम बिफोर दैट ऑल्सो दे क्रैक सिंस टू हंड्रेड नाइनटीन आई एम मेकिंग वीडियो फॉर बी आर सी एंड पीपल आर जस्ट एंड लॉस ऑफ पीपल आर क्रैकिंग बी आर सी एग्जाम नाउ डेफिनेटली फ्यू थिंग्स आर देर विच यू टू कीप इन यूर माइंड वेन यूर यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर बी आर सी सो एवरी डिटेल विच आई अप्लाइड इन माई जर्नी टूवर्ड्स बी आर सी आई विल शेयर यू गाइड सो दैट इट विल बेनिफिट यू एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो बी अ पार्ट ऑफ बी आर सी एज अ साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर सो दिस इज द प्रिफरेंट स्ट्रैटेजी वीडियो फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड फॉर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन फॉर ऑल द थ्री ब्रांचेस राइट सो नाउ डेफिनेटली अवर स्टाइल विल बी सेम दिस टाइम फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम इंप्लीमेंटिंग अवर फेज वाइज स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर बी आर सी एग्जाम यस फेज वाइज कंबाइन विद अवर बी आर सी स्ट्रैटेजी मीन्स इट विल बी डेंजरस कॉम्बिनेशन राइट यू आर जॉब इज टू फॉलो द स्ट्रैटेजी वीडियो यू नीड टू जस्ट स्टार्ट टू कंप्लीट द टारगेट्स एंड डेफिनेटली टाइम टू टाइम आई विल बी देयर टू गाइड यू गाइड्स फॉर दिस एग्जाम ओके फर्स्ट थिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस एग्जाम इज नॉट एट ऑल टफ एग्जाम just a lots of hype is created among this exam that we are still super tough and no obviously not definitely one separate video i will make in which i will sh- share you that why people think we are still tough okay but for now whenever you are with me whenever you are apna gorunap student i want that it is not like i want you to think that brc it's easy exam not tough exam to crack okay because there is trick and those who will understand the trick definitely they will get into the brc right okay so let's start our video and i hope that now you are ready fully for brc so phase 1 we are starting and we are starting from tomorrow that is 1st february to 11th february okay means i am giving you 12 days correct so this will be our period of phase 1 now those who are not connected to apna gorun job those who are new student basically whole your preparation journey or strategy i divide it into several phases so that with each phases you will get idea you will get clarity that what i need to complete okay what resources i can use and you will get a target okay till now for example you can see here 12 days target is there in front of you so you know okay in 12 days i need to complete the syllabus the mentioned topics or subject or chapter right so whenever you will have the target you have the dedicated path definitely your productivity will increase or i can say your preparation time or preparation focus will get increase that is the advantage of phase wise strategy that is that followed by lots of aspirants thousands of aspirant now okay so this is the period i hope you noted down and yes please take a paper and pen and note down each and everything which is most important okay yes so first subject we are taking that is your network theory very important subject for brc now for the year 2023 we can expect somewhere around 7 to 10 questions okay 7 to 10 questions now i am telling you this is an average because suppose if your shift is uh, two shifts are there three shifts are there then some in some shift you will get you may get four question in some shift you may get 10 question in some shift you may get a, a 10 question or 14 question also okay but average average you can say 7 to 10 question you can expect from network theory okay and which is the first subject right basically what you to study under network theory so basics okay all the techniques that we use to solve the circuit problems whether it is kvl kcl voltage divider current divider etc okay along with lots of theorems are also there that we use superposition maximum power transfer then the reciprocity theorem okay so this theorems are also used so combinedly you to study all the things very important from here you can expect somewhere around two questions okay then transient now basically last time for one shift only they asked transient for other two shift there was no transient question so it's better to focus on transient but not that much level okay definitely you need to complete the syllabus it is not like that but focus will be little less on transient okay then two port network so sure short question you will get from two port network either one or two depending on your shift again it depends on your level so in what shift you are getting right so one or two question you will get from two port network you can expect transient you can say one question i will say one transient question for transient every question every concept which are included in transient uh, okay including your uh, force free response that also you have to do right then ac analysis very much important sure shot two to three questions you can expect in ac analysis so just have proper attention on this okay what are concept you have then resonance and last is your graph theory so from graph theory also one question you can expect from resonance one question you can expect okay so like this this can be a structure for network theory now again obviously this is not matter but yes this thing is matter that 7 to 10 question average you will get from network theory and to crack brc okay if suppose they ask 10 question then you can easily score 100% accuracy in 6 to 7 questions again to reach here it is not easy task especially for brc because brc is not that much easy exam right but basically some parameters are there following which or tracking which you will you can achieve this thing that is you will achieve you will reach to 6 or 7 questions okay so for that definitely you have to wait and now first priority basically this is phase 
basically here now we are focusing to complete the syllabus we are focusing on concept development okay the phase one theme is concept development so just focus on that don't think about exam uh, what question you will get no you are you know that okay in network theory i need to complete these topics that's it okay so this is all about your network theory now most important thing resources okay most important thing resources so which resources you will use now okay so basically now the purpose of these resources whatever you are using okay you should know the purpose why you are using these resources so for phase one basically for concept development okay or to gain the confidence what or to gain the confidence you are using the resources correct now basically here what you will use so for practice question for theory or for understanding whatever notes you have with you okay you can just use that notes that will be enough for you guys uh, lots of students don't have notes then you can download from internet okay every notes you will get from internet for free so just you can download the gate notes for network theory you get you, you can get that right and from that you can study you can develop the concept now after studying to practice the questions just solve gate one mark question okay in phase one basically you will solve gate one mark question and along with that you need to solve isro pyq also okay isro pyq also you need to solve now basically those who are master spec student already your msput is there so from msput separate strategy i will make you guys from master spec that how you can use that from msput okay those who are not in master spec definitely the free folder is created for brc you can check out the resources or the strategies that i am giving you so that you will get also benefited from that right so for now we are doing gate one mark question and is your previous uh, previous year questions to gain the confidence in network theory concept okay all this concept so i hope it is clear for network theory let's move to second subject second subject is your analog circuits which is brc favorite subject okay most favorite subject of brc is analog circuit so yes it is favorite then definitely you can expect somewhere around 12 to 15 questions okay and this is again average average 12 to 15 questions so in one shift basically last time they asked 20 questions from analog circuits in another they asked luck buck 15 to 16 questions and uh, I guess uh, in first or third shift, they ask eight questions. But all around 12 to 15 average you can consider for analog circuit. Most important subject, if you want to crack BRC, if you want to get interview call letter, right? What you have to study under analog circuit, so OPAM and its application, the first and foremost important thing. So after getting the network theory, all the things you have with yourself, basically KVL and KCL, now we will apply in OPAM. Okay, so OPAM, all the applications means your inverting applications, non-inverting applications. Okay, then skimmit trigger is there. Then oscillations are there. Yes, oscillator as we will do. I wrote here already, separate topic. And other things like your skew rate calculation, your offset voltage calculation, everything they can ask you. Okay, basic level. It is not really that much. Higher. And what the one ground concept. Yes, short short question they will ask you. They will test you that whether you know that concept properly or not. Okay. Then the next is diode questions. So under diode questions, you will get everything. Especially Zener regulator, fixed question. Zener regulator, fixed short short question you will get. Then rectifier, fixed question. Halfway rectifier, they will test your uh, skill. So basically, the waveform based question based on halfway rectifier, they will ask full wave also, they, I mean, they may ask, right? Then clipper clamp also, high probability is there, they will ask this question. So diode also, have good amount of questions in your paper, okay? Whether it is shift 1, shift 2, shift 3, etc. Not the matter. Then MOSFET. So I put MOSFET above BJT because MOSFET is very, very important. So under MOSFET, basically, the analysis part, which is most important to calculate drain current, okay? Under linear region, triode region, and saturation region. Then the other concept of MOSFET like this only that transconductance finding then output resistance finding and the super important that is your small signal analysis. Okay, small signal analysis. Sure shot question. Either they will ask you on MOSFET or BJT or on both. Definitely. It's up to you. Okay. So yes, don't skip this part of small signal analysis. Definitely. It is also one fact that still if you study this part, then probability is less that you will attempt that question in your exam hall. Okay. Whenever we are definitely at each stage i will tell you that okay how to judge whether you can uh, whether you can solve the question in exam or not because brc is all about that only that's why okay so bjt bjt again everything detail analysis part okay to identify the regions under saturation calculation of your current everything basic basic things are there everything you will do for bjt also okay current mirror and that also you need to do then oscillators so oscillator also they will ask you so this thing also we'll do multi vibrator and triple five timer okay and frequency response of amplifier that is your upper cut of lower cut of frequency etc all the things which are related to that right so these are the overall things you need to study for your analog circuits part okay these are the overall things you need to study for your analog circuits part okay so maximum question you can expect from your diode and open okay followed by mosfet right minimum question you can expect from oscillator multi vibrator and also bjt minimum question a frequency response also okay i can keep it at on fourth number but first second third and fourth very important okay in terms of priority 
Yes. Now let's think level. What will level you can expect? So obviously no one can judge level of BRC. Okay, it is not like you are pro in analog circuit and you will solve all the questions of BRC. No, not possible. Okay. If you are a beginner also, the same question. Definitely those who are at good level, they can solve one to two question extra. Only the difference between beginner and pro is that only in BRC. If I specific talk about BRC. Okay. So level definitely you can consider between easy to moderate, more on moderate side. I can say 80% will be on moderate side. Okay. Now. Definitely this thing also we can control. It is in our end. How? Definitely in, uh, in the last slide, I will share you with you guys, right? So I hope you got the level. Next is again resources. So basically for analog circuits also, you will solve gate one mark question. Okay. All the gate one mark question from starting to 2023. Means paper bake, but still we will get the paper before that, right? So till 2023, just note it down. Till 23. Okay. This paper, 23 paper you will get after one month. So yes, you can prepare from that. Just quickly you can do. Till then you can just complete the thing, right? And last is your... ISRO PYQ. Okay, ISRO PYQ. Now, the next thing about OPAM. The next thing about OPAM. So, for OPAM specifically, you need to follow EAC previous year questions. Okay, so the three resources will be important for you guys get previous year book, ISRO previous year book, and EAC previous year book. Okay, those who are MSPOT student or Master's FS student, you already have all the things in MSPOT. I will share the link soon with you guys. Okay, so don't need to purchase book any because already also in detail solution we have everything, right? But those who are not in Master's FS, you for you guys, these three things are very important, right? For open EAC privacy question and for other things like uh, for frequency amplifier, okay, uh, multi stage amplifier. For multi stage also, you will follow EAC PYQ and for rest of the topics, just these two are important and enough, right? So this is all about your analog circuit, which is our second subject for your BRC exam. Expected question, I will tell you. So yeah. Okay. So few tips definitely that are very much important when you are starting your preparation and you should implement this in start only. Okay, that will be beneficial for you. First, very much important. Whatever question you will solve, especially numerical, because obviously the paper will be numerical. I can say 80% paper will be your numerical and 20% paper will be your theoretical paper. Okay, 80% will be your numerical paper. So first thing is very important that you need to start your practice. Whatever questions you are solving, whatever uh, from resources which I told you. From start only, just practice from calculator, online calculator. Already is available. Okay, on TCS website is available. So you can just uh, take that and with that only start practice. Okay, so that you will get good hands on this calculator because this is the important part of your BRC exam. That's why. Okay, so first important point, I hope you will note down. Then whatever you are learning, okay, whatever you are learning, obviously you will read theory, you will do all the things which is important. But the main learning, okay, the main learning of concept, you will get through questions. Okay, and that thing, just put it in your notes. Because obviously, it is not like you will solve the questions uh, two times, three times. Time is very less. We have only 60 days in our hand, right? So in 60 days, we need to complete the syllabus. So it's better. Whatever you are learning, okay? Just put it into your notes, correct? Okay, this is the second point. And the third point, very, very important. Whenever you are finishing one by one chapter, suppose from network theory, you finish with basics. So at least give revision for that, okay? And for that, daily, 30 minutes in the start. For the start, 30 minutes you can put, okay? And then slowly, slowly, I will guide you that how you can increase the time, right? So revision will be there and... Whatever time you are putting for BRC, just put your 100% for BRC. Already I told you, okay? Yeah. So this is all about your phase one. Now, what you can do basically, in the comment section, I will give you your WhatsApp group, which is for serious candidate. Every WhatsApp group I open when your BRC exam is there, okay? So it is started now and you can just down just join the WhatsApp group for discussion of concept. It is only for serious student. Don't spread any information, other information other than exam, okay? Obviously, channel sharing, link sharing is not allowed. It is only for your discussion and whatever updates regarding BRC, whatever things I am giving you, yeah, that you will get in that group. Okay. So those who are serious and want to prepare for BRC with me under my guidance, definitely you can join the group. It will benefit you. Okay. So yeah, I will meet you in the phase two now. So start your preparation. And if you have any query, any doubt, you can put down below or you can DM me on Instagram so that on personal note, I can guide you all the best.